Hello, this is Ed, and in this video segment, I would like to highlight some of the DigiKey part search capabilities and the build material option inside of the part sim simulator. I'm going to just drag in a simple resistor, and every time I drag in a part, the part shows up in the bill of materials, and I can add values in here. And those values are added to the part itself. So the bill of materials and the part itself are linked. If I right click on a part and perform a digikey search, the search is driven by some of the parameters in the part. The actual parameters used is limited at this point in time, but that is something we intend to improve in the future. Given the search parameters, I am presented with a list of parts that are available at DigiKey with those parameters. If I choose a part and I have the destination part selected, I can click Assign, and then that will go and assign those parameters from DigiKey to the parts bill materials line entry. Once I have a list of parts in the bill of materials, I can choose order parts, which will then take me to a DigiKey part order page, and I can complete an order, adding however many of these individual parts I need. Here I've changed the quantity of this part to 100. I can still return back to the simulator just fine by using the different tab. It is also possible to search for a part in DigiKey. And if a part is found, then you can drag the product photo in. This is not something that can be used for, for actual circuit drawing, but it can be used for documentation. This part will include the bill of materials entries. So in this case, we have a, a semiconductor switch and we can add that, even draw wires to it or from it if we like. And again, this is really mostly a documentation type capability. And that concludes this segment of the PartSim Circuit Simulator using the DigiKey search and bill of materials.